we are going to talk about Bear's top gray-blue paint colors, and then we're gonna talk about Bear's top blue-gray paint colors. Let me explain. So, when in my research this last week, as I was searching for the most used paint colors in those categories, I discovered that there are gray blues, meaning there are gray colors with a tinge of blue, but then there are blue colors that are gray. I hope that makes sense. So I decided to break this up into two categories because if you want more of a gray look with a little bit of blue, or, an, or another way of putting it, a cool gray, um, you would, I could steer you in the right direction. But if you wanted a blue that had a gray undertone, I could steer you in that direction. In fact, in the process of doing this, I fell in love with one of the blue-gray colors, so much so that I am going to buy it and repaint my front door. So right now my front door is one of the cur current colors and I'm gonna show you my door and we're gonna talk about that. But then I'm gonna paint it. And you guys can watch me paint it, which is fun to do. It's always fun to watch somebody work, right? <laughs> and then we will look at that color. So let's head to the store and pick up the paint. list is Hush. And before we really dive into these colors, I want to show you how you can order samples on Home Depot's website. They come in a nice folder like this. And when you open it up right here in this part will be your samples. So they're $2 each and I ordered all these samples from them. They're peel and stick. So I'll show you, I'll put some on the wall um, at the end of the video so you can see. But um, here is the color Hush, so you can see. And this is a great color if you're looking for a nice, cool gray color. Um, and this color is in my friend Lindsay's Victorian home that was built around the turn of the 19th century. She loves gray colors, and this one was perfect throughout her house. And as you can see, her trim of pure white contrasts beautifully with this gray color. So great places to use this color are on interior walls, exterior furniture, cabinets. You can use it on floors. Um, there's so many pretty much anywhere and it'll match most, almost everything. Okay, next on the list is Classic Silver. Here is a sample I ordered of it. Um, not every color you can get in samples, but the ones on this list I will share with you in uh, that I ordered, I will share with you on the video. So Classic Silver is very similar to Hush in that it is a nice um, neutral color, gray color. This one, I would say, is even more gray than Hush and a little bit darker with a light reflective value of 48. Great places to use this color are on interior walls, exterior, uh, cabinetry, uh, furniture, and floors. Okay, next on the list is French Silver, and I have that on my front door, so let's go look at it. Okay, so currently on my front door is a color called Monorail Silver by Sherwin-Williams. Now, in my research, I discovered that this color is almost identical to French Silver by Bear. And when I say almost identical, it is in the blue category of the color numbers. It is one digit off. So like this one was blue 187, whereas the other one was blue 188, to give you an idea. In fact, uh, French Silver by Bear is a little bit more blue than Monorail Silver. So if you want to know what that color looks like, this is it. This is what it looks like. It's a nice gray-blue color. Now my house faces south, 
So this color really look, has a blue tinge to it. It's definitely gray, but you can see that blue real well um, on my front door. So lots of natural light uh, facing south. This is where it's going. and I have a sample of dark pewter here so you can see it. Its light reflective value is 29. So we're really getting pretty dark as you can see. Um, to compare it against our lightest color, which was Hush, that'll help you see just how dark we are getting with this color. So if you want a nice dark gray blue color, this is a great one for you. Um, Places that you can use this color are on walls, specifically accent walls. You can use it on completely all the walls in like a theater where you want it to be really dark or a music room or um, a man cave. Uh, other great places are on floors, cabinetry, uh, exterior. It would be a great color for an exterior of a house. And it will definitely, with the sun, and I, I'm sitting where there's a lot of sunlight coming in here, just so you can see, but it'll definitely have a gray-blue tinge to it, if you can see that here. Okay, so now we're gonna shift gears to the blue-gray colors. And like I said in the beginning, I fell in love with one of these colors, and I'm super excited to share it with you guys when we get there. So first on our list is light drizzle. I do not have a sample of that, but I did make a color um, graphic for you. This is a beautiful color with a light reflective value of 64, so it is definitely a lighter color. Um, it's red, green, and blue is heavier on the blue, and um, but again, it is more blue than it is gray, I feel like, when I look at this color. Great places to use this color are exterior, interior walls, cabinets, furniture, and porch ceilings. This is another great haint blue color that you can put on your porch ceiling. Okay, next on our list is Cumberland Fog, and this color is similar to Light Drizzle. It has a light reflective value of 68, so it is in that lighter range, and but still has a lot of depth, so it's gonna contrast beautifully with um, pure white or a white, white trim color. Great places to use this color are interior walls, porch ceiling, furniture, and if you really love a kind of a unique blue gray color, then this would be pretty on cabinets too. Okay, next on the list is Absolute Zero. This has a light reflective value of 64. So just like Cumberland Fog, it's higher up. Um, but this color to me definitely is more gray than it is blue. Whereas the last one was a little more blue than it was gray. Still, still blue gray, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, Absolute Zero looks great on interior walls. It looks great on porch ceilings, furniture, and cabinets. Again, if you like a unique um, blue-gray color. Next on the list is Watery, and I actually have a sample of this color. This is a beautiful gray-blue-green color. This is a great color for the coast. I think this would be beautiful on interior walls, exterior. Um, if you did all white walls, this would be pretty as a trim color. You can put it on floors, accent walls, cabinets, just about everything. This is a great color. It has a light reflective value of 49. So it's definitely deeper as you can see in this graphic that I made. Um, when you look at it up against white, it stands out and shows what a beautiful color this is. Heavier on the green side and then blue and then much lower on the red. Okay, next on the list is Inner Coastal Gray. I feel like this is another gray color for a beach house. 
Um, it is deeper and darker than watery, but it is bluer than watery. So its color numbers are red 168, green 181, and blue 188. So see what I mean? It is definitely blue green, but even more blue. It has a light reflective value of 45, which makes this a great color for interior walls, accent walls, floors. I think this would be a beautiful color on a porch ceiling. Um, it's definitely deeper, so it's going to make a really tall porch ceiling come down. Uh, I also think this color would be great on cabinetry. I, did I say exterior? Definitely exterior and furniture. Definitely on furniture. Okay, next on the list is French Colony, and this is the color that I fell in love with. So let's go paint it on my door and we'll talk about it while I'm painting it. Um, it's light reflective value is 34. So it's a nice deep color, which brings us to a little more drama. And that name French, whenever I see the name French in a color, it almost always is this blue gray tone. So that French silver color was more gray blue tone. You definitely could see the blue, but when you get down here to French Colony, it's the opposite. It's more blue with those gray undertones. Other great places to use this color are on furniture. I think it'd be fabulous on furniture. Exterior, interior walls specifically, accent walls. I think it would be beautiful on a front door, on shutters, and definitely furniture. Let's let this dry and then we'll put the wreath on it and I'll show you guys how it looks after we're all finished. Okay, because it's winter time, that dried so fast. It's so much drier here in Florida right now that um, it's dry in like 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my wreath back up very carefully. Um, and then we will look at this color a little bit closer when we, um, after I get this wreath up. So if you were watching my video last, my last video, I shared how to hang a wreath with ribbon on a glass storm door. Well, I have this same technique on my glass door. Um, so go back and watch that video because it'll show you how I did it here. And I'll put a link in the description. This is a beautiful blue, dark blue color with those gray rich undertones. With a light reflective value of 19, we are getting really dark. This is, pro this is our darkest color, I believe, in the whole line of the gray blues and the blue grays. Uh, it is heavy on the blue with 132, then green 123, and then way lower on red 111. Great places to use this color are interior walls, specifically an accent wall. I could see this in a library where the cabinets, I mean the bookcases and the walls are all the same color. It would be absolutely rich and beautiful. Um, cabinetry, furniture, and exterior. It'd be a beautiful exterior color. Okay, that's it. That is all the colors. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get some samples and try them out on the wall so you can see what they look like. Um, so remember these samples I was telling you about? I'm gonna show you how you can test them out on the wall. So they're peel and stick samples. So all you do is peel them off like so and then you can stick it on the wall like this. And the neat thing about it is that they're re, you can reuse them. And you can put them, so save the back because you can put them back on here to reuse later. So you can peel it off and then put it right back on. 
So I'm gonna put a couple of colors up here so you can see. Um, this one is French Colony. Uh, here's Hush. Hush was the color my friend Lindsay used in her house. So I put it way down here, not touching the blue because when they touch, they can affect each other's color. So I put it lower on this one. Okay, so what'd you think? Did you find a gray, blue, or a blue, gray color that you fell in love with? I definitely am sold on French Colony. That was my favorite blue, gray out of the bunch. As far as the um, gray blues, I think Hush is probably top of the list because it's a nice, cool gray, light gray color, but yet deep enough that has that beautiful contrast with your trim. I find that color to be very pretty. Um, so please let us know which color you love in the comments. Also, if you have one of these colors in your home, please share in the comments what color it is and what room or if it's on furniture or wherever you have used this color. Um, I hope you have found this helpful. If you would like to watch more um, videos on paint, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out. And please give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.